Well, a woman's work is often unpaid. That's a key finding in a new report from Oxfam, an international organization focused on fighting poverty. Joining us on the Coco News Live line is specialist on gender issues, Kelly Aceta. Hey there, Kelly. Hi, Ted. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So tell us what this report actually found. Well, it, uh, I hope everyone that's listening is sitting down because it showed that women in the U.S. typically spend about two hours more per day uh, than their male counterparts cleaning, cooking, doing other unpaid tasks. And it adds up to a whopping 95 additional eight-hour workdays in a year that women work for free. Now, some men, too. I mean, there are definitely men in nowadays that are doing the, uh, you know, stay-at-home dads, things like that. So the primary caregiver is spending 95 additional eight-hour workdays a year that go unpaid. So this is pretty staggering. I mean, and if you added up the, the money, what does it look like? Basically, about $162,000 a year that uh, a woman working from home is worth. Um, and, and they did the, the math for uh, annually just here in the United States, and it was $1.148 trillion per year that goes unpaid. And if you do that worldwide, it's about $10.8 trillion a year. Wow. So what does this tell you? What does this tell us? Well, for uh, most women that are on the, the listening right now, this is no shock. This is no surprise. <laughs> we usually get up at around 6 a.m. and we're packing lunches and getting our kids dressed and we're doing all of this. We understand it. It has to get done. But there are three things that I want to give your listeners that will help um, curb this overwhelming load that goes unpaid and hopefully relieve a little stress. First off, Get rid of the unimportant things. Unfortunately, a lot of moms have this societal pressure that they have to be some super mom, be at every event, be at every uh, class party, you know, do all these different things, and that's just not serving you. The second thing is set boundaries. I, I waited too long in my life of raising two, two daughters to do this, but I would literally be up at 5.30 in the morning and going until 10 p.m. before I pour, poured myself into bed and just fell asleep. You need to set a boundary and have at least an hour for you to decompress. And so I set quitting time. And if they needed a glass of water, they needed a snack, homework didn't get done, whatever it was, if it didn't get done by 9, it wasn't going to get done by me. <laughs> okay. And it was wonderful to have that hour before going to sleep uh, to just really decompress and take an hour to do something that I wanted to do or I needed to do for myself. And then thirdly, ask for help and get your kids involved. I don't care how young they are. At five years old, they can pour a cup of kibble into a dog bowl. You don't have to do it all. And yes, it'll take a few, you know, steps back of teaching your kids how to load a dishwasher or how to feed the dog, but it will serve you in the long run. And ask your spouse. A lot of women sit in in frustration that their their spouse is not helping them with a lot of these household chores simply because either the, the woman is not asking for the help or they're they're frustrated with how their husband does the task, and then the husband doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> so ask for help and be gracious and happy for whatever kind of help you do get, and don't be so concerned that it has to be done perfectly. So those are just a, a couple things. And then okay. if your listeners want to go to my website, truth.coach, I have a free download for how to make sure you have a spectacular day every day. So, And what was that website again? Truth dot coach. Truth dot coach. All right, Kelly Aceta, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thanks for having me, Ted.